So today I thought I would do a review over Route 66, a trip through the 66 books of the Bible. This is what we are using for our Bible curriculum in school this year. It is for grades 2 through 5. It's published by Carson DeLosa and it costs around $16. Um, what I am doing, you can see I have been tearing some pages out. Um, I'm just making copies. So some of these pages will be torn out. Here is the table of contents. Unit 1 is about the Old Testament, the books of the law and history. Unit 2 is about um, Old Testament, poetry and prophets. Unit 3 is the New Testament. Unit 4 is continuing the adventure. This is just some information about it, like using the teacher's guide. And here is a page um, that the kids can put in a notebook for the Old Testament books and the New Testament book. And they have how you can make a little souvenir scrapbook. Kids can put in a Bible notebook. And this is a little map, um, like a little road trip here. And it's kind of some items you would find along Route 66. But the first page here, you can see it has a little, you know, rest stop Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and so on. And as the kids learn about each of these books, they would just color in that shape below. They color in this one. When they learn about judges down here, they'd color in judges. And they have some warm-up questions and a travel guide, which is pretty neat. Um, let me find one here where it starts. Okay, here is the first page. It's for Genesis. Okay, and each book, each page will begin like this. It'll say whatever book they're studying. In this case, it's Genesis. Old Testament, it's a book of the law. And it tells you who wrote it, when it was written, or when it occurred, the purpose of it, the important people mentioned in this book, key verse, a trip tip, which I think is pretty neat, and the travel guide, which I like that. It just um, kind of talks about how Genesis is, gonna, is going to be, and sometimes it relates to actually traveling in a real car. And then here are some warm-up questions for getting ready. And then this just kind of tells you little teacher's guide what to do. And here's the road map. <clears throat> it tells you the stories to read, the chapters and what they're about. Now each book comes with three worksheets or activity pages, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this would be the first one for Genesis and it's just like a worksheet with questions. And the mile marker is like a little, you know, thinking writing story. So this was the first page for Genesis. This would be the second activity page for Genesis. Tells them right here to look up one of these scriptures. And imagine what it would have been like to be there and then draw a picture of yourself there. And on the back side, it's a crossword puzzle. You have to answer these questions that go with the book of Genesis. But the answer is here. What I do is there are three pages and I pick one that I want my child, my children to do and then I let them pick the other. So that's what we do. <clears throat> and each book is like that. So this is Exodus. And see, um, there's the questions and then here's a Ten Commandment sheet. We'll show about the Ten Commandments and a word search. And these are words or names mentioned in the book of Exodus. Then here's Leviticus. So you kind of see the format, the layout, how it's going. But um, each book, each little you know, lesson is like this. And what we do is we spend about a week on a book of the Bible. We'll spend Monday through Friday 
just reading all the chapter stories that it refers to in this lesson and doing worksheets. And for this one that I have in my hand right now, this is for Leviticus, and this is like an activity that you can do. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Okay, this one is over the feast, feast of the Passover, so it gives you kind of some instructions and guidelines to go by to kind of recreate the Passover meal, reenact it. Now, on some of the smaller books, or the ones that aren't as have so much going on, like Numbers and Deuteronomy, they will put it together. And also, First Kings and Second Kings is together. Um, so. But uh, I'm not going to go through each and every page because it's all it's the same layout. It's just the activities would be a little bit different depending on the book. But like this story here is a Balaam that you would learn about. And there's Balaam and his donkey and then you know the angel and the wall and everything. Okay. Okay, now here's one. Another, you know, physical activity, Jericho March. This is from the book of Joshua. So it kind of tells you what you would need to recreate the wall of Jericho, you know, marching around the wall of Jericho. And if your kids like riddles, there will also be some riddle activities. Let's see. Okay, here is one for Ruth, you know, because Ruth was a good friend to Naomi, so this activity is, are these friendship bracelets. A friend loves at all times. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Hmm. Um, this curriculum book does not use the traditional King James Version. Um, I'm not exactly sure what version, I haven't looked into that, but we just replaced it with the King James Version. Give you a coloring sheet. And in the, that you can see, it's all, you know, the same kind of layout. But in the back of the book are the answers to all the questions. And also, let me find it here. Okay, here's a review, you know, over everything that, that they've learned so far. Um, each unit has its own review. Okay, this would be unit four. How to study the Bible on your own. <clears throat> New Testament, the Old Testament. Now, we haven't made it this far yet. We are only in um, Psalms. No, Proverbs. Yes, yeah, in Proverbs. Okay. This page here would teach how to use a concordance in the Bible dictionary. Um, here's some concordance and dictionary practice. And this, are, this page is for memorizing verses, making a prayer journal. Here's a prayer request sheet. And these pages I've been showing you right now are all after all the books of the Bible are done, like Revelation was back here. Um, make your own salvation bracelet. Share your faith with others. Travel the Roman road for the sinner's prayer. Here are some recommended resources, like books, maps, charts, timelines, organizations. And <clears throat> these are the little uh, scripture cards that they recommend, you know, cutting out and pasting in a scrapbook. They have them all printed out here for you. And then in the back here is the answer key to all the, you know, the mazes, the crossword puzzles, the word search stuff like that. Okay, so that is that. Alright, now that I've showed you the curriculum book, I'm going to show you, this is my fifth graders um, binder for this year. We use it for science, Bible, history, and our timeline, and also literature study. Um, I will show you kind of how she's putting together her Bible binder. My second grader also does this too, and she has her own binder. But this is my fifth graders, 
This is the cover sheet here. And you can see how she um, colored, you know, her little map, and she's coloring each one as we study it. Then here's the you know, books of the Bible sheet. These are some of the original questions. I'm going to be taking this yellow thing here and putting it over her name because she keeps she puts her name on all these pages almost. Here were some initial questions and here was a word search. Some questions and this map sheet here did not come in the curriculum book. Um, I try to find some things that would go along with it and print it off for them to add to it. And I found this on Bible History Online. They had a bunch of Bible maps from old times. And so when we were uh, learning about the 12 tribes of Israel, she colored this. So, this is not working too well. Okay, and this one, um, her favorite story in Genesis was Joseph. So she drew a picture of Joseph being thrown into you know, the pit by his brothers. Okay, <clears throat> and here we just kind of wrote down the genealogy up until this point from God all the way to Noah. This page um, did not come in the curriculum. Um, I've been making these pages, and I've made them so far from Genesis to... I don't know, Proverbs maybe. And uh, I will offer them free on my website when I get them completed. But it's just like a summary of each book. Okay. And this one was her Ten Commandments page. And there's our Exodus page and an Exodus summary here. Okay, let's see. Okay. Here was um, two more sheets that I had printed out on the tabernacle here and then building the tabernacle. There's a Leviticus sheet. Just seeing if there's anything special in here, okay, and I also printed out this um, Gideon sheet for the Judge's Bible that she covered. And I printed out this um, Ruth sheet. Okay. Well, that looks like yep. That is the end of that. Besides some more of those worksheets from earlier. So I hope this has helped you. For those of you that were interested in the um, Route 66, we enjoy it. Um, since there are 66 books in the Bible, um, we plan on letting it take us about two years to complete by doing a bi uh, book of the Bible a week. But um. We have liked it, so if you have any questions, just ask. Thanks for watching.